Hi everyone, how are you doing? Times when we need to take a screenshot only for failed test cases. So a regression suit contains many test cases, one test case, two test cases, or hundred test cases, right? And if out out of hundred test cases, if two test cases got failed, so uh, in order to analyze those test cases, a screenshot is very important. So, so in a protector tool, we can do some settings so that we can get the screenshot for failed test cases. And let's see how we can do that. So uh, this is the uh, configuration.js file of protector. And as we all know in protector test, we have two kind of files. One is a spec file and the other one is configuration file, conf.js. In a spec file, we write our test, for example, auto suggestion test.js. This is a spec file. and corresponding to that spec file we have configuration file conf.js it should open now on my spec.js so uh, like uh, so configuration file contains different configurations so uh, this is our test case uh, describe block it block so it contains our test cases so test case is one file and uh, Another file is configuration which we use for execution and in the configuration file we specify which specs we want to run. So here in our example today I, I'll go I'll gonna run this uh, auto suggestion test.js and that's the reason I have opened this file and show you I uh, have shown you the content of this file. All right so coming back to our uh, agenda for today's session like uh, how to take a screenshot for failed test cases in protector. So uh, I'll be using uh, this uh, module, node module in fact, protector jasmine to HTML reporter. So what uh, this module does is, uh, it will prepare a report for you, like uh, it will prepare test report for your test execution. And in the report, you will see the screenshot for failed test cases. How cool it is, right? Not only you will get the screenshot, also you will get a, a good HTML report. I'll show you in a while. All right, so uh, in order to use this uh, uh, in the configuration, first line you have to write require protector jasmine to HTML reporter. And this you can install uh, using npm install. Uh, you can use this command npm install then the name. Let me copy it for you and uh, let me copy npm install this so uh, if you uh, run this command uh, provided you have node.js installed on your machine if you install npm install protector jasmine to html reporter that module node module will get installed and after that you can use this uh, protector jasmine to html reporter so uh, once you have this you have to write on prepare function in the exports.config in export.config we specify which framework we are using in protector test where our selenium server is running what capabilities what kind of browser i'm using same way along with different uh, settings for our test environment we specify one function for reporting okay so in on prepare we write a function uh, let me show you so yeah this uh, function is uh, provided from jasmine so on prepare function jasmine dot get environment add reporter here when i'm saying add reporter which means in jasmine framework we are adding reporting capability using object of jasmine to html reporter so we will pass object of jasmine to html reporter in the uh, jasmine.get environment add reporter method and what is this uh, jasmine to html reporter and it is the first line of our uh, contract.js jasmine to html reporter this is the uh, variable in javascript we define variables using where keyword where jasmine to html reporter so it's a kind so whatever api is there 
protector to jasmine to html reporter so this variable will contain and we will tell jasmine okay jasmine uh, you get the environment and add reporting to it using jasmine to html reporter and uh, jasmine to html reporter provides different options different kind of settings uh, let's go one by one like save path where you want to store your test reports so dot represents current directory i mean where this configuration file is uh, in my example it is current directory means under root project protected automation so dot test and report so in this folder reports folder my report will be generated and there's one options like take screenshots is equal to true and this is the option which we want for our today's agenda like we want to take a screenshot for our failed test cases only so jasmine to html reporter provides this option like take a screenshot only on failures if you make it true it will take a screenshot for failed test cases if you make it false it will take a screenshot for pass plus fail for everything and so yeah uh, take a screenshot only on failures if you make it true uh, jasmine to html reporter will take the screenshot only for failed test cases and there are some other couple of options like fixed screenshot name true like then you can uh, then method name will become your uh, screenshot file name then clean destination false what does it mean it means uh, old screenshots old reports will be deleted if you make it true and if you keep it false uh, old older screenshots will be there in the directory so it is for cleanup activity so you can uh, uh, make this variable uh, true or false depending on your requirement show past false true or in the report section you can see show past you want to see or not then file name uh, it will be like uh, the file name like the report name you want to see so for example i have given my report name you can provide any uh, any name here so um, your report file let html report will have this kind of uh, file name you can uh, customize it as per your need and this is file name separator underscore so yeah the idea is um, if i run this code uh, it will work but the idea is like uh, jasmine to html reporter if you use in the configuration file of protector it will provide you reporting capabilities a report will be generated after the test execution and within that report if you want to uh, show screenshots also jasmine reporter provides that that as well and not only screenshot uh, in fact you can uh, make it conditional that okay you uh, show me screenshot only for failed test cases so we have to set this variable as true okay so yeah these were the settings which we need to do in configuration.js and uh, let me uh, run this program uh, so that we can see the screenshots currently i have this test folder report screenshot my report non.html let me delete it so that we should see a fresh report after the execution uh, let me delete it okay so i have test reports reports and let me delete everything like uh, we'll what we want to see yeah. assuming you initially you will not have these kind of stuffs i will delete this reports i will delete this as well and that is the beauty of uh, uh, jasmine to html reporter that if you don't have folders created initially it will create it for you only you have to provide uh, what you want so if test folder is there well and good if not jasmine will create it for you jasmine to html reporter will create it for you so as we can see uh, we have only node modules and these are test file this is config configuration file okay node modules uh, let's see what's inside <laughs> node modules just for curiosity i'll show you So in node modules, basically, uh, there should be Jasmine to HTML reporter. 
because uh, here at this location I uh, type the command npm install protector jasmine to HTML reporter so when we run on the command which I have shown here npm install protector so when you run this command in your root uh, project directory npm install protector jasmine to HTML reporter then uh, this folder will get created node modules protector to jasmine to HTML reporter how you can do that let me show you uh, before I, I execute this just in case you don't have a protector jasmine to HTML reporter I think uh, in our previous session I have covered this how to install protector jasmine to HTML reporter but I'll show you once again just go to the root project uh, press alt enter here you go uh, you will get the location of your project just copy copy that and go for command prompt cmd command prompt cmd mm -hmm. do it for again cmd There you go cmd we have cd then the your project location so this is the project location and at project location if you type this command npm install jasmine to html reporter paste and if you run it then it will install that library protector jasmine to html reporter in your project project folder in fact so once this is completed you should see uh, this node modules I have already run this so it will just check whether there is updated version or not accordingly it will adjust so let's see how it goes so yeah node modules is corresponding to the nodes which we are uh, installing into our project we can wait and see like uh, what exactly will happen after when we run this command so as you can see it's trying to create one npm session and then it will install and uh, protector jasmine to HTML reporter library what is npm npm is a node package manager which we get when we install node.js on our machine as you can see uh, no known vulnerabilities updated one package so it has updated jasmine to HTML reporter all right so this way you uh, you can install this library after the installation of this library you need to just uh, use the require method and in configuration.js and, and this is the code like you have to uh, provide uh, this function inside on prepare section or block in configuration.js and let's run this code and see uh, if test case gets failed we should see the screenshot so how to run this so i'll open terminal i think i have already done it so i will just use protector control.js so it should execute my program so yeah in either case like if the test case passed we should see the reports but a screenshot will not be there and if that is gets failed we should see the report plus a screenshot as well and that's what our requirement was as you can see uh, the browser has been launched and it should uh, navigate to the application and i'll try to make it fail uh, just in case <laughs> uh, if it, if it, just to showcase that okay test case gets failed and uh, we should see the screenshot it's running it should go to the application
so i will disturb the execution and i will try to make the test case as fail uh, let me do it some ui should come out it's still loading Now the UI has come. Let me type it something here, like some check characters. I'm just manually typing it just to make it fail. My script is doing something, but I'm just typing it manually so that some this junk character and, and I did it. My test case got failed. It should fail, not yet. Uh, you should see in the console like. As you could see, like uh, one failed spec, so test case got failed. So let's see uh, what we have got. Like so far, as you can see, there is no test folder, there is no report folder, uh, as it was mentioned in our add reporter capabilities, right? There is no test reports, no screenshots. Let's see, uh, there is nothing, right? What I'll do, I'll just refresh my project. Refresh F5. As you can see now a test folder is created corresponding to this test folder and inside test folder so this has appeared after when I refresh my project so in reports reports is created uh, I mean report folder is created inside that report we have folder screenshots and my report name this was the file name I have given my report name dot HTML uh, and this screenshot I got the test case one dot PNG and why test case one because uh, test case one was the my test method name the hit block test case one so screenshot will get saved for failed test cases with their name how cool it is right if that um, which means my test case one is failed uh, my screenshot will be method name dot png right and if you see the screenshot i'll show you both i'll show you the report as well let's first see uh, let's uh, let's first see the screenshot uh, i just double click on this as you can see the screenshot we have got and it is the same screenshot where i have manually typed some junk characters <laughs> to make my test case as well so it has taken this screenshot so test case has got at this well, look at this point of time in the test so i took the screenshot so we have got the screenshot uh, because the test was failed and let me show you the report now so this html report is generated and if you open with the web browser so this cool report uh, will show up so my regression suit and this test case one this was the method name and uh, this is the screenshot and failed this case record failed i think if you click on this then you can see the screenshot as well within the report itself how cool it is right so yeah so this is all about how we can uh, take the screenshot for failed test cases so the main idea is you have to use jasmine protector jasmine to html reporter which you can install using npm install protector uh, in the command prompt provided you have node.js installed on your machine and since you are working on protector so definitely you should have node.js and after that you have to uh, write uh, on prepare function in which you have to report in add report section we have to uh, provide the object of jasmine to html reporter and we have this bunch of options which you can give and you can customize your reports and to take a screenshot for field test cases you have to use this option all right so yeah that's what uh, i wanted to discuss in this session today thank you so much thanks for watching see you in the next session thank you